G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson I'll be teaching you how to play Tiny Dancer by Elton John. Now this is a pretty simple song to play and it's a lot of fun. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. For the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo. The guitar I'm playing here today is a Cole Clark Fat Lady 2 with Elixir strings. If you want to find out more, there's a link in the description below. So let's jump into the song and start with the intro, which is just two chords. We start with a C chord, and then we have an F slash C. And to play that from the C chord, you'll just take your middle finger down one string, and then your pinky finger comes onto the third fret of the fourth string. And we're strumming from the fifth string onwards. So take note that your index and ring finger will stay exactly where they are from that C chord, and everything else will move around it. So C and F slash C. Now those two chords are going to be within one strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. The point at which you're going to change chords is in the highlighted down strum up in the annotation. So the intro just sounds like this. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. That's just played through four times for the intro and next we move on to the verse. The verse has four lines of chords. For the first line of chords we're going to start with the same C to F slash C. We're going to do that twice, and then the third time we play the C, we're actually playing that for the full strumming pattern. So, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And for our last two chords, we have an F slash A. So from the C shape, you just move your ring and middle finger down one string, and keep your index finger exactly where it is. This is an easy F chord shape, but you need to include the open A string that and that's an F slash A chord. We then end with a G chord. Now those two chords are within that one strumming pattern but the point at which you're going to change chords is a little different. It's on the second last down strum now. So that F slash A to the G goes like this. Down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up. And in total for the first line of chords, and that first line of chords is played through twice. For the second line of chords, we go to an F and you can play a full bar chord here, or you can do an easy F if you like as well. Then we have an E minor seven, so it's the same as an E minor, but you take your pinky finger and put it on the third fret of the second string. Then we have an A minor seven, so keep your middle finger where it is and just take your index finger and put it on the first fret of the second string. It's A minor seven, and then we have a D slash F sharp. Now it's the same as a D chord, but you take your thumb, reach it over the top, and hit the second fret of the sixth string. Or you could play it like this as well if you can't reach your thumb over the top. For the third line of chords, we have D minor, E minor, A minor, and G slash B. So G slash B is the same as a G chord, but we're strumming from the fifth string onwards and really focusing on that fifth string bass note. For the second and third line of chords, we're changing the strumming pattern a little bit. It's just a simple down, down, up, up, down, up, for each chord. So the second and third line of chords. Our fourth line of chords is very similar to the first line of chords with a little variation at the end. Instead of going to our F slash A and then our G, we're going to play four different chords and just strum them each once. Those four chords are G, F, C slash E, so that's the same as a C chord except you can hit your open sixth string, and then a D minor chord. So those last four chords.
And that's everything for the verse, which sounds like this. In between verses, there's short breaks, and that's just the intro chords, so the C and F slash C. The next section we need to learn is the pre-chorus, which is really easy. We're going to start with an A flat bar chord like this. That's the same shape as an F bar chord, but just up at the fourth and sixth frets. Now, our strumming pattern that we'll use for the pre-chorus goes like this. It's eight down strums followed by a quick up strum. So one and two and three and four and... For our first strumming pattern, we have this A flat bar chord and then a B flat bar chord all within the same strumming pattern. And the point at which you're going to change chords is on the fifth down strum. And the B flat bar chord is just the same shape as the A, just moved up two frets. So those first two chords. Now if you're having trouble with the full bar chord, then you can just play the top four strings of that chord and not worry too much about having to bar that index finger across. Just focus on the top three or four strings of the chord and that will get you most of the way there. For our third and fourth chords, we have a G minor. So we just move this shape down to third and fifth frets and you'll lift your middle finger. That's a G minor chord. And then we have a C minor. So it's a similar shape to an F chord, but we move it down one string and up at third and fifth frets. So that's C minor. And those two are within one strumming pattern. For our second line of chords, we go back to the A flat. We play that for one full strumming pattern. Then we go up to the B flat for one full strumming pattern. Then we're gonna play a G slash B for one full strumming pattern. And then finally, we have a G slash D. Now, a G slash D is the same shape as our F slash C, just moved up two frets. And we're just focusing on those middle four strings, starting with the fifth string. That's G slash D. And in total, the pre-chorus sounds like this. Next we get to the chorus, which is easy. There's just two lines of chords here. We start with an F chord, and then we go to C slash E, and then D minor. Now our strumming pattern for most of this chorus will just be a simple down, 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 up for each chord. The second line of chords is similar. We have F and then C slash E, but then we go to an A7 sus4. So from this C slash E, Leave your middle finger where it is and take your pinky finger and put it on the third fret of the second string. And we're strumming from the fifth string onwards. That's A7 sus4 and this is the only chord that has a different strumming pattern, which is a bit longer and it goes down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Up. So in total, the chorus sounds like this.
and those two lines of chords are just repeated again and again for the chorus. Next we move on to the interlude and this just occurs after the first chorus and it's just three chords. We start with an F slash A, so we've already learned that chord before and the strumming pattern here is just going to be a down up, down up, down up, down up and we're going to play that twice for each chord. So we start with an F slash A and then we go to a G slash A, so you just move all your fingers up two frets and again we're starting from the open fifth string so that's G slash A we're strumming that for two of our strumming patterns and then we end with a C for two strumming patterns so in total this interlude sounds like this Now the only little extra thing we need to take note of is the very last chorus at the end after the A7 sus2 we add one extra chord which is the F slash A and that's played for the same strumming pattern as the A7 sus4 so down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. and then we go back into the intro riff that's played till the end of the song so now I'll be playing through the song in its entirety and I'll have my good friend Emil lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. He'll also have his own cover for this so if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below for his YouTube channel and his Instagram so be sure to check that out. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice play along to and see how you go.
Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.